This is the 40th anniversary of the company, and in trying to think in some kind of serious and, uh, and thoughtful way about what does it mean to have done work for 40 years. The, the role of the dancers in making my work is, uh, is absolutely you know, substantive and primary. Margie has done a lot of research and thought and work outside of the studio. She takes some time away from the process to learn from it. Um, and see what's missing and see where she stands and how it feels and then we come back and reinvestigate and explore kind of new territories within a work. And, and now I think it's become a very kind of complicated and sophisticated and elaborate way of building the work with their creative intelligence coming into play as in, in a very formative way. Margie is very drawn to movement inspired from poetry. It's something that's kind of been a part of her process for a long time, given her long collaboration with Michael Palmer. Either poetic fragments or narrative fragments, and I'll bring those fragments in, and they become the impetus for the dancers to develop the movement material. Even sometimes when she gives us an assignment on poetry, you find yourself in a personal exploration and you run with it. Um, that's one of the nice things of this process, is you can run with what you're feeling in that moment. That whole process can take a fair amount of time, but it yields um, very surprising results. I think that the audience is the final collaborator in the making of work. Without an audience, the work doesn't exist. This piece, Time Zones in particular, has been interesting since it's the first time since I've been with the company in 2005 that we've reinvestigated some of Margie's earlier work. So I just started looking at all 68 works that are on videotape and and making notes about you know the pieces and and fragments of those works that seem to still resonate what did i learn about looking at the work that i really wanted to carry forward what were the stories in those pieces that were still kind of untold i think it's a true challenge to try to embody those original works and I think that's where many of us started, at least that's where I started. I uh, studied some of that video and let it inspire how the dancers moved and the place from which they launched further investigation. We all have such a shared uh, history and shared wealth of information from prior pieces that that has to inform the current work. So it seemed to me that it was a kind of interesting metaphor, that I was kind of gathering the bones of older work and, and from those bones making a new work, making a new whole, which is what I think Time's Bones is, is a new whole.